What's up guys, Josh here of Fugatech and in an only global launch, Huawei has announced its latest P-series smartphone and this time, it's not just a duo of devices but with an additional one more in the family. So aside from the P40 and P40 Pro, Huawei has added the P40 Pro Plus in the lineup as well. Fortunately for us, we got an early unit of the P40 Pro and we'll give you our hands-on experience of this baby. We give it to Huawei for really making their devices stand out. The P40 Pro looks beautiful and elegant with that solid all-metal build and expansive display that curves on all sides. Yep, this is probably the very first phone that has a curved display in all four edges compared to other displays which are only curved on the left and right. This allows the screen to flow over the sides which reduce bezels to a very minimum state, where the P40 Pro really flex its muscle is with that curved display at the top and bottom sides, further reducing the bezels to as narrow as possible. Huawei also did away with the notch in favor of a punch hole design at the top left corner that houses the 32 megapixel front facing camera and IR depth sensor. Speaking of the screen, the P40 Pro's flex OLED display is similar to the Mate 30 Pro, but only this time it's got a 90Hz refresh rate and looks better and more noticeable when playing games. It's also definitely bright with rich, vivid colors. The screen is 6.58 inches, but due to the narrow bezels, it remains more compact compared to the Mate 30 Pro. As for security, the fingerprint scanner is is right within the display but there's an option for infrared face recognition for added safety when locking your phone. One interesting design feature of the P40 Pro is the glass back panel that looks frosted with a matte finish that surprisingly keeps smudges and fingerprints away. The USB port is found at the bottom end along with the primary mic, speaker grill, and SIM card slot. The power button and volume rocker are on the right side while the IR blaster and noise cancelling mic are up top. The SIM tray holds a nano SIM card and a second slot for either a nano memory card or another nano SIM. Huawei's P-series phones are really a showcase of its photography capabilities, and the P40 Pro certainly brings the goods. There's a large camera module that protrudes at the upper left corner which houses the four cameras. There's the main 50-megapixel ultra-vision camera, a 40-megapixel super-sensing cine camera for ultra-wide shots, a 12-megapixel super-sensing telephoto camera with up to 50 times digital zoom, and a time-of-flight camera. All these are engineered to bring the best results with that Leica DNA. Powering the Huawei P40 Pro is a high-silicon Kirin 995G chip, which comes with an octa-core processor with a max clock speed of 2.8GHz paired by a Mali G76 MP16 GPU. This is the same chipset used by the Mate 30 Pro 5G which was also recently released locally. It also has 8GB of RAM and either 128 or 256GB of internal storage that's expandable for another 256GB via nano memory card. The P40 Pro also runs on EMUI 10.1 which is based on Android 10 with the Huawei App Gallery. Aside from 5G connectivity, there's Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 6 Plus. The internal battery is rated at 4200mAh with fast charging capability, fast wireless charging and also supports reverse wireless charging. The Huawei P40 Pro is priced at 50,990 pesos and is up for pre-order until April 24, 2020. So what do you guys think of the Huawei P40 Pro? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon and visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Josh and I'll catch you later.